y'all welcome to vlogtober day 30. so as y'all can see i'm back in this uh arm brace uh, this little wrist brace if y'all don't like videos back before vlogtober i'll probably put it up somewhere um i was having issues with my wrist and i thought i had carpal tunnel now let's go back to when i had um before i knew i had covid so um back in the day i was diagnosed with like like acute arthritis it was like oh you got a little bit of arthritis in your joints never gave me any issues never had any problems with it or anything so about two days before i realized that i had covid um my right knee felt so tight so so tight like it was swollen on the inside but it didn't look swollen on the outside i'm like oh my god it's so inflamed it's ridiculous so um I'm thinking like it was the arthritis now it was raining outside and things like that and I know that people who have arthritis they'll have like issues with that there have been times in the past where it would rain and things like that and I would get like a little bit of an ache but it would go away so after it was never anything that had me really like OMG so when I had COVID I didn't realize that that was one of the COVID symptoms because I'm like oh I felt this on a very mild uh level before so I just kind of shrugged it off so after COVID was over with so that pain lasted that little inflammation lasted maybe like um four days so it lasted it lasted about four about four or five days then it went away so then I went through COVID, went through my um, quarantine and all of that stuff. So after COVID, a little bit after COVID, um, I started to get the wrist pain. Now I'm thinking the wrist pain was for me typing so much. So I'm like, okay, let me get a little wrist brace. I got the wrist brace put on, as y'all know. I wore the wrist brace for a couple days and the pain went away. Same with this. So I started getting this, I started getting the inflammation in my wrist um, the day before yesterday. I put the arm brace on as soon as I felt it and it's pretty much gone now it may be at like two percent but i wanted at zero so i'm keeping the arm brace on the low uh, hand wrist, wrist brace on but my knee is also giving me issues not even close to the magnitude that it was the first time before i realized that i had covid but i'm still having um my knee is is feeling it's feeling inflamed so i got home i've been keeping it um elevated and all of that and it feels like 90 percent better but it ain't at 100 it's, it's not at where it was at first so it's like at first i couldn't bend my knee like this morning i could barely even bend my knee it was so sore now not even like that so i'm like i wonder does this have any correlation between me having covid because you know a lot of people who was having covid they was having like after effect symptoms and stuff like that especially people who was having covid and then later on they was getting asthma like people who never had it it, it was ridiculous so i looked it up i said um joint swelling and stuff you know joint swelling after covid so something called reactive arthritis came up and they was like reactive reactive arthritis after covid so come to find out it is a thing where if you are like predisposed to arthritis which i was I, I am i suppose or i was because when i was younger they told me that i had like a little bit of it going on but not to really worry about it and i never did i never needed to take anything for it it was never debilitating or anything like that so now after i have covid now i'm having like this swell like this it feels like like i don't know what that was about that it sounded like a head but it was maybe it was a whatever so um i'm feeling like this tightness in my knee now like i said this time is not as bad as it was the first time the first time it was like what is happening like it was even difficult for me to go down the stair and i was like baby not nah. that's not how we about to be living that's not how we about to be living so i looked at reactive arthritis and let me give y'all the definition it says reactive arthritis is acute asymptomatic arthritis occurring one to four weeks after a distant infection in a genetically predisposed individual. It may occur after COVID-19 infection. It definitely occurred with me after the COVID-19 infection. So here I am thinking that everything is on the up and up and now I'm dealing with this. So now they were saying that, um, hold up. Cause y'all know. Malaysia they said that Malaysia is I guess that's how you Malaysia Myalgia Myalgia my bad Myalgia 
Is it common to have joint pain after COVID? According to the CDC, myalgia is amongst the common lasting symptoms after having COVID. Sometimes your joints and muscles might ache or feel painful. Why the fuck is that a symptom? Why is that a why is that an after effect after COVID? And COVID was supposed to be a, a, a viral infection that fucked with like your your lungs and stuff like that. Like it was like it was like a turned up pneumonia but now it's dealing with this is this is why you know they they when they be man making stuff in these labs they they really be trying to they really be trying to mess people up now we already know that this wasn't just uh uh something that just came about but we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that and then they were saying like no you know it don't last forever it's some sometimes it can be something that reoccurs on and off because it's on and off it's not a persistent thing it doesn't even last like a week but my thing is i wanted to last zero days because it wasn't lasting at all before so if anybody had covid and they dealing with this y'all having joint pain and stuff like that and what's crazy is it's my right wrist and my right knee coincidence i think the fuck not so if anybody's dealing with COVID or anybody had COVID and they dealing with this, um, it's probably, uh, it's probably myalgia. It's probably myalgia. Okay. Or reactive arthritis. Because when I tell y'all articles about articles amongst articles on this stuff on the internet, I didn't find a lot of it on Google, on YouTube, but there are some on YouTube that talk about like, oh, arthritis pain and stuff like that. But it's not, it, I didn't see, maybe I didn't scroll up. I didn't see a lot of people that was talking about it that actually went through it. So yeah, y'all. So now I'm back in the wrist brace and I'm having to elevate my knee. Now I, need, and now I feel like I need to invest in a knee brace just in case I have to deal with this another time because I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm not trying to wake up in no kind of pain, no type of discomfort. I want to be able to bend my knees how I want to I, I don't sleep straight i don't sleep straight sometimes my, my leg i want my knee bent so it's like mm -mm, i don't like that at all so yeah y'all so i just want to come to y'all let y'all know that um reactive arthritis after covid and uh myalgia is also a common symptom after covid19 so if anybody is experiencing that um they said it's not it they said it does not affect your joints or anything like that is just a temporary discomfort it it doesn't have any long lasting effects or nothing like that but do y'all own research because you know they be lying you know they be lying because I'm, I'm gonna continue to do my research but yeah y'all so i was really in my feelings today about that i'm gonna keep pushing on I'm, I'm feeling much better in the evening but this morning it was a mess so uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow